Hello everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. As you can see, we are playing Rocket League. So, we are going to be going over the four next blueprint series. It just came out. Over at almost every item, we... Um, the Mamba items and the Mamba car will be shown as a picture instead of the actual items in 3D view, as you can see with, with, my, with this car. And same with a few other items. Other than that, we're just going to go straight into it. First item we're going to be going over is a schooled banner. You can see in the picture right here. It's pretty lame banner, personally. Just a school bus, really. Second item, Mamba Sharpshooter, as you can see in the picture following. I personally think you can make some pretty good designs with it. It's definitely... There's better decals out there. That's really all I have to say about it. Next decal, Mamba D-Money. This is an interesting decal. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I, won't, I would never use it. I don't know why I just don't really like it. This next item is Dominus Dragon, which you can see in one moment. Alright, so right here, we have the Dominus Dragon. It looks extremely nice. I would love to use this in any design. This will cost you about 50 credits. Looks really nice. I love this decal, and I want it really bad. 50 credits to build. Pretty cheap price for such an amazing thing, um, decal. Our next item will be the Croc Paint Finish. Alright, so this is a croc paint finish. It is a rare paint finish. It will cost you about 100 credits to build. Looks quite interesting, if I do say so myself. It's not bad. I can't see myself personally using it, though. If you like it, go ahead. It's a really weird paint finish, personally. Next item, our first very rare, which will be the Ezeeks, or I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, my bad. Alright, so these are the e little e Zeke wheels. It looks like a looks like a pretty cool wheel. It looks like a really good wheel. But I already have wheels I personally favor more of these wheels. But it has a nice red out um, red like inner line with a star in the middle. Not bad. Not bad at all. Our next item, twirlwind wheels as a very rare. Just so you know, um, forgot to say this. Is E Zeke wheels will cost you about 200 credits to build. Alright, now we're going to our next item. Alright, and these are the twirl wind wheels. They are very rare, they run you about 200 credits. They look quite nice, honestly, with the spiral effect. These definitely have potential to be in a lot of really nice car designs if you get them painted. I might use these in some presets, honestly. They look quite nice. Now we will go to our next item. This is a Star Trek boost right here. Looks quite nice. It's uh, very rare. It'll run you about 200 credits to build. I don't really like it that much personally. It doesn't seem like a type of thing that fit in the car designs I like making. If you do like this, go ahead, build it, make anything out of it. I would love to see what you can make with this. Next item. Next item. All right. So th these are our first import. These are the twirlwind schematized. The twirlwind schematized. These will run you about 400 credits to build, and I think they look absolutely horrible. I don't think I'd ever be using these in any car design builds at any point. I would be surprised if someone could. If, but if you can, make it on like Earl Garage Builder or something, send me the link. I'll check it out. Alright, then we'll go to our next item. Alright, these are the e Zeke Inverteds. They look very good. I would definitely be using these in a lot of builds. These are so good these look so good I would I could even mean these 
wheels. I there was something about them. I really like the design of them. Just the way everything flows together. This makes me like this could go to, well together with so many car designs, even if it's just like I don't even know how to explain it. Which will lead us to our next item. Okay, this decal is called the Reviver. It's an import decal, it'll run you about 300 credits to build. Whenever you look at this, you're like, oh, that looks like a really good global decal. Wrong. This is an Arcanic exclusive decal, surprisingly. I'm surprised this isn't global, actually. I really like it, though. Like, I really like the design, but it's one of the things I probably wouldn't use because I have other items I would favor over this. And our next item is the Mamba. And this is our next item, the Star Trek Rocket Boost. This will run you about 400 credits to build. Looks just as bad as a trail, personally. I do not like this at all. Those are the only things I have to say for this. But, and now we're gonna move on to our first exotic. All right, so these are the Troika Roasted Wheels. These are wheel, Troika are wheels from yonder pretty far out. I think these are really nice. I would use these in a lot of card designs, that's all I have to say, really. Really good exotic wheel, will run you about 700 credits. And that's basically it, not much to it. And now we're gonna be moving on to the next item, which is my personal favorite. These are the Exotic Pixelated Shades Multichrome. I believe these are the first, well this is the first exotic topper to exist in the game. It looks so nice, it's so, the rainbow effects are so good. I would use this as my main topper basically forever. These will run you, oh it's not even known, like the credits for this thing in blueprints I believe isn't known. Personally, because I've never gotten blueprint for these, so I am not quite sure. I would assume it'd be around 700, still 700 or 800. That's my assumption. I have no idea. And then the final item, the only black market in the blueprint series. Here we go. This item is called the, sh the Shade Raid. I will review it real quick. So this is what it looks like. I think it looks amazing looks like a cosmosis type thing into like a comic filter not something i'd personally use but i quite like it black it's a black market explosion looks pretty standard for black market it will run you about 2,000 credits to build and that'll be it for today's video if you guys did like all the items in the blooper series tell me in the comments down below i'm i'm actually very curious to hear you guys have opinion on the new Blueprint series. Well, that's me signing off. I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys.